Hello everyone. Today we are going to see week 8 digital circuits and this is very low. Which of the following options represents the fastest analog to digital converter? So we don't have counter type. So flash type, successive approximation and real slope. So here flash type is going to be the fastest ADC. Which of, what is the output of the following circuit? They have given this uh, R to R ladder structure. And here the uh, formula is going to be uh, minus V reference your V1 into 1 by 2 plus V2 into 1 by 4 plus V3 into 1 by 8 and V4 into 1 by 16 here. So here V4 is 0, V2, 1 is going to be 1 and V reference is going to be 15. So the value is going to be minus 50 into V1 is uh, that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8. So take your LCM as 8, it, 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 you will get it as minus 15 into 7 by 8. So the value is going to be minus 13 dot that is minus 13.125. What is the output of the following circuit? The same circuit with a different uh, input they have given. So same formula. So here your B4 as well as your B2 is 0. So your V out, your V reference is going to be 15. So it's going to be minus 15 into your B1 and B3. So it's going to be 1 by 2 plus 1 by 8. So take your 8 as LCM. So you'll get your minus 15 into. So it's going to be 5 by 8. So the value is going to be minus 9.375. What is the primary advantage of using a Millet FSM over Moray FSM as faster response to input changes? They have given the flash, 3-bit uh, flash ADC converter. Uh, so here they have given your V in as 8, it's a V as 8 volts and V in as 4.125 volts. So here your V is going to be, V in is going to be 4.125. So you have to compare with the voltage generated at this point. So V, 7V by 8. So 7 into 8 by 8 is going to be 7 volts. So here it's going to be 3 into 8 by 4, it's going to be 6. Here 5 into V by 8 is going to be 5. Next, uh, here V by 2 is going to be 4. Then 3V by 8 is going to be 3. V by 4 is going to be 2. And then V by 8 is going to be 1. So now you are going to compare your V in that is your 4.125 uh, with your 7. So here 4.125 is lesser than that of your 7. So the value is 0. Lesser than 6. So 0. 4.125 is lesser than 5. 0. 4.125 is going to be greater than 4. So the value is 1. And 3. Comparing with 3 it's greater. Comparing with 2 it's greater. Comparing with 1 it's greater. So this is your priority so uh, 8 to 3 priority encoder so from your fourth bit the value is going to be 1 so the value is going to be 1 0 0 that is 4 is your output which of the following statement is true so here r to r ladder circuit uh, requires less uh, precision resistance it's okay but so it's flop false here and here it's going to be binary weighted resistor conversion time is lower compared to your R2R uh, letter setter. So it's going to be false because it's going to be high. And then your uh, binary weighted resistor, DAC requires large range of resistors. Uh, so this is going to be the uh, correct one. So binary weighted resistor, DAC requires large range of resistor. Which of the following ADC is more expensive to build? So this is your uh, comparison between these three type. So here your uh, a high cost expensive is going to be your flash. So here they have given your uh, FSM circuit and here X is going to be the input. So this is a sequence and they have given this uh, machine here and then they ask you to find the output. So here they have given your input. So this is your input is going to be 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So they have started, they ask you to start at your F now. S0. So S0, if your input is 1, so always in this transition, it's going to be input divided by output. Input divided by output. So here, your input is 1 now, it goes to S1, where your output is 0. So it goes to S1, and the output is 0. So in your S1, if your input is 0, 
and goes to S2, output is 0. So S2, output is 0. So in your S2, if your input is S1, in your S2, if your input is uh, 0, it remains in the same state where your output is 0 here. And in S2, if your input is 1, if your input is 1, it goes to S4 and that time your output is 0 here. In S4, if your input is 1, so the transition is from S4 to your S3, but your output is going to be 1. In S3, if your input is 0, so it goes to S5, so your output is 0. And from S5, if your input is 0, it goes to S2, so your output is 0. So the output sequence is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. In a 5 bit successive approximation ADC with reference voltage of 1 ohms, if an input voltage of 0.9 ohms is applied. So, here this is going to be the uh, successive approximation register, and here uh, sub -success successive approximation register is a 5 bit. So, SAR will be 5 bit, that is initially for the first cycle, uh, your um, SAR will be for the first cycle, your SAR will be 1. 0, 0, 0, 0. So, this is going to be your SAR. Content of your SAR. Here, your input voltage V in, they have given it as 0.9 ohms. So, here, uh, your v, you have to find the voltage, digital terminal voltage here. Converter voltage here, the voltage value is V reference divided by your 2. Here, the, the value is going to be 2. MSV is going to be 2. So, it's your V reference is going to be your, always uh, it's going to be 1 ohms here. So, it's 1 by 2, it's going to be 0.5 ohms. So, now you have to compare it with your V in. So, what's your V in? So, V in you have to compare and V in is going to be 0.9. So, it's going to be your V in is uh, greater than that of your V, V, A, C. So, your SAR content would be say 1. 0, 0, 0, 0. So, for the second cycle. So, similarly, you have to find for the 5 cycles here. So, your SAR is going to be 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. So, the next bit is going to be done. Now, your uh, your uh, D to A converter voltage is going to be, here it is going to be 1 by 2, here it is going to be 1 by 4. So, it's going to be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25. So, which is going to be 0.75 and still your V in is greater than V D A C. So, your SAR will be content will be 11000. For your third cycle, your SAR will be 111000. Similarly, your D to A converter voltage will be 0.5 plus 0.25 plus for this one it's going to be 1 by 8. So, the value is going to be 0.125. So, totally it is going to be 0 .0 0 0.875. So, still your V in is greater than V D A C. So, V in is your 0.9. So, your SAR remains unchanged 1 1 1 0 0 0. So, for the fourth cycle. S A R is equal to 1 1 1 1 0. Or it's going to be 5 bit. So it's going to be 5 bit. So it's going to be 1 1 1. So here. So totally it's going to be 5 bit S A R. So now it's going to be your digital converter is going to be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.125. Here for this uh, uh, bit, what will, what the value will be? It's going to be 0 0.0625. So the sum of all these things will be equal to 0 0.9375. So here your V in is less than your V. D A C. So your SAR becomes 0 at that point. So it's going to be 1, 1, 1. So your fourth bit is going to be 0, 0. Here this bit, since your V in is uh, greater than 
your V in is less than that of your V D A C. So this will become 0 sir. So now fifth cycle your S A R is nothing but you have to take this value. So 1 1 1 0. The fifth bit you are making it as 1. So now your uh, D to A converter is going to be 0.5 plus 0.25 and for this one it's going to be 0.125 and for this bit it's going to be 0 so we are not going to consider it, this one so here it's 1 by 32 it's going to be 0 0.0312 and so for 1 by 32 so the total sum value is 0 0.90625 so obviously your V in is less than your VDAC. So your SAR will be 1, 1, 1, 0. So since your V in is less, this 1 becomes 0. So at the end of your fifth cycle, your SAR contact will be 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Which of the following statement is false? So here, uh, while comparison statement, it says that your dual slope ADC is a faster conversion. Here it's going to be very slow. Slow is nothing but your conversion time. It takes it's a longer. It's not faster. So the dual slope has slower uh, conversion rate to a successive uh, approximation. So that is also wrong. So here your flash ADC uh, is expansive. So this is going to be right. And then flash type has higher resolution compared to your dual slope. So that is also wrong. So what is the resolution of an 8-bit uh, 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 DAC? The formula for resolution is going to be your V reference divided by 2 power n, where n is nothing but number of bits. So it's going to be 1 divided by 2 power 8. So that is the resolution value, which is nothing but 0 0.003946. When will offset error occur in DAC? It's whenever there is a constant offset occurs between your actual output and ideal output. Which of the following step is not present in ADC conversion? So here sampling and hold is there, quantization is there, encoding is there. So naturally decoding is not there. Which of the following element is not present in successive approximation? You have your sample and hold circuit, you have comparator, you have your DAC, inductor is not there in your successive approximation. Conversion rate of ADC depends upon clock speed of your input signal as well as the take time of the converter. Thank you guys. Have a nice day. Subscribe my channel for automatic updates.